Today is the second day of our novena to the Immaculate Conception. Let us offer this for the intentions of our Mother General and her Council, for the holy perseverance of all consecrated men and women, for holy and numerous vocations in the Church, particularly in our congregation, for peace, healing, and reconciliation throughout the world, for all the sick of our congregation, family, friends, and benefactors, and for all who are most in need of our prayers. From the dogmatic constitution of, on the church, the Virgin Mary, at the message of the angel, received the word of God in her heart and her, in her body, and gave life to the world, is acknowledged and honored as being truly the mother of God and of the Redeemer. Redeemed in a more exalted fashion by reason of the merits of her son and united to him by a close and dissolubable tie, she is endowed with a high office and dignity of the mother of the Son of God, and therefore she is also the beloved daughter of the Father and the temple of the Holy Spirit. Because of this gift of sublime grace, she far surpasses all creatures both in heaven and on earth. But being of the race of Adam, she is at the same time also united to all those who are to be saved. Indeed, she is clearly the mother of the members of Christ, since she has, by her charity, joined in bringing about the birth of believers in the church, who are members of its head. Wherever she is hailed as preeminent and as a holy, unique member of the Church, and its type and outstanding model in faith and charity. The Catholic Church, taught by the Holy Spirit, honors her with filial affection and devotion as a most beloved mother. Peace for me. Alternately, most holy virgin, Mary Immaculate, the privilege of your Immaculate Reception reminds us of the precious gifts of our first parents who have been my grace to do it. Grant, O Mary, that we may always be faithful to the law of the Lord, and that we may fear seek the cause of all evils, temporal and eternal. Take Mary and the place the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Most Holy Virgin, Mary Immaculate, in the universe of the bush, we alone were preserved from original sin. In His infinite goodness, the Lord will save the human race through the incarnation of His Son, and for this He elected the daughter of the Elam to be His mother and allowed her to be free from sin, 
and may the Lord be done with his hopes and say of you all in heaven. We rejoice with you, O Mary, who has been both sent by God to such a sublime dignity and most elevation has be of the world which one. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our end. Amen. Most Holy Virgin, Mary Immaculate, the Church always proclaims the full of grace. And the truth of your immaculate conception shine through the centuries with an ever splendid light. But the incredible word of Pope Pius IX, some shall appear to the church, who will come to the mission of the God. He will say that you, in the name of the merits of the Savior, your Son, from the first instance of your conception, have been preserved from every stain of original sin. We enjoy this trial of which the Church has been for you, and we see the tribulation you are all really good and merry. In the name of the place, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among you, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Most Holy Virgin, Mary Immaculate, while we saw your Immaculate Conception, we cannot forget that the Lord of Revelation has purified our soul in the sacrament of baptism. This has removed from us the stain of original sin, and has made us children of God and ears of paradise. Grant that we always appreciate this grace given to us and faithfully keep the promise of our love to sin. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now we have the hour of our most of the university, your conception was the glorious beginning of our life, becoming more and more holy, because in love there was a continuous increase of grace, virtue, and merits. As for us, we must now be confess of having wasted grace through actual sins. O most merciful mother, that you should see us, grant that if you have lost the way of innocence, we may walk in perseverance, the way of penitence. Hail Mary, who prays the Lord is with you, blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Together. You are all beautiful, O man, and in you there is no original sin. You are the glory of Jerusalem, the joy of Israel, the honor of our people, the advocate of sinners. O Mary, O Mary, Virgin most prudent, Mother most clement, pray for us. Intercede for us before Christ the Lord. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Mary then sent out for a town in the hills of Judah. She entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby suddenly moved within her. Elizabeth was filled with Holy Spirit and giving a loud cry, said, You are most blessed among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. How is it that the mother of my Lord comes to me? 
the moment the beating sounded in my ears. The baby within me suddenly moved for joy. Blessed are you who believe that the Lord's word would come to me. The word, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, the Lord Jesus Christ. Together. O oh God, through the Immaculate Conception of the Virgin Mary, you have prepared for your Son a word of the heavenly place, and in view of this death, you have preserved her from every state of sin. That also to us, through our intercession, through which you with your souls, through Christ our Lord, Amen. Let's Oh, my God. 